Hello and welcome to Man Cave Mechanic. Today we're going to be removing fuel injectors, sending them in to be cleaned by high performance injectors, and then reviewing the before and after results. Let's get at it. Okay, we're going to start out with a little safety first. Make sure that your engine is cold, your negative battery terminal is disconnected, and you have a dry chemical extinguisher handy. Okay, we're going to start with removing the engine cover. Then remove the flame arrester. This is a 10 millimeter socket, which you'll find is consistent throughout this whole project. Disconnect the hose in the back. Remove the flame arrestor. Okay, with that out of the way, we're going to disconnect the throttle linkage, which is just a cotter pin you can see here on the side. Very little, try not to lose it. a washer on the back side of it and I'm just going to replace the cotter pin so that it stays all together. Something else you should do is take a rag and put it inside your throttle body so nothing drops down in there. Okay. Now we're going to move back here. We're just going to work our way around the engine and remove everything before we get to the fuel rail. Um, we're going to move, remove the fuse box, which is right here on top. There's two um, nuts holding it on there. One over here and one over here. in these things. Okay. They can lift that up out of the way. There's a washer it looks like on top of each side. Don't lose those and just tuck that back out of the way. Okay, now that you've got that out of the way, we're going to get your fuel pressure test gauge. We're going to remove the cap from your high pressure test Schrader valve. And we're going to place a rag underneath there to catch any fuel that might spray out. This is, system is under pressure. So you're going to screw that on. As you screw this on, it's probably going to relieve the pressure for you. But if you have pressure on the system, you're just going to press this button and it's going to relieve the pressure. Okay. The, it's only relieving the pressure. There's still going to be fuel in the in the system. So when you take this apart, fuel will still spill out. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these fuel lines. You have an in and an out. And we've got this tool that you get from your local auto parts place that just slides on there like so. And you just kind of pull towards you and push this in and then it slides right off. Do that again for you. Push this in and it slides right off. Do that on the other, other one. Push it in, slide it right off. Okay, now your fuel lines are disconnected. Okay, let's move to removing the plugins for the injectors. There's a gray slide clip here. It slides up and then all you're going to do is just pinch it and unplug it. I've gone ahead and numbered all of these, but if you look at the way the wiring harness is, they're all 
wired out of the wiring harness in order. So it's pretty hard to mess it up, but you want to make sure that the farthest one goes to one, the next farthest one goes to two, and so on and so forth. So unplug all these. It's okay if they slide off, just slide them back on. Slide it up just a little bit and unplug it. Move around to the other side. Slide it up, pinch it, unplug it. Slide it up, pinch it, unplug it. All the way around. Get this out of the way while we're at it. Okay, now let's get our fuel pressure regulator out of the way. Let's disconnect our vacuum hose. Now this clip, <clears throat> when you remove this, this has a tendency to go flying. Some people will tie a string on it, but if you lose that thing, it's, it's like 16 bucks to replace it. So I just get a good grip on it, lift it up, remove the fuel pressure regulator. Okay, now we basically just got the fuel rail left with four bolts. Again, 10 millimeter. We need a deep well socket. And they basically are just a, a post with a nut on it. Now, that just leaves the fuel rail. Now, you should just be able to pop that right out of there. So you lift up one side, lift up the other, pops right out. Now, it looks like we've still got one in there that came out of the clip. So, if that's the case and that's stuck in there, you can either just pull it out by hand Or, if it's really stubborn, you can get a pliers and reach down on here and grab the bulk of this and just pull it up. Don't grab hold of this. Open your jaws up all the way, just enough to clamp it and pull it out of there. Because there's a good chance these will be stuck in there if they've been in there a long time. Okay, we're going to remove the, the injectors from the fuel rail. And all that is is a clip slides right off and then these unplug now if you're going to replace them they say throw away the clips but we are going to have them cleaned so I'm saving the clips I'm gonna go around and clean this all up and be back with you this video shows initial testing of my injectors The initial sprays on the first three or four look good, but then once you get to the fifth one, you can see it's a lot narrower, and the sixth one as well. And that one looks pretty good, and then the last one's weak again. Now he goes to a a test to see how much they actually spray so they can fill those containers. And you'll see that they should all be the same. And you'll see here on this fifth one how weak it is. Getting hardly any spray coming in, in there so you can tell those two cylinders are weak. That one's not bad, and then the last one's weak. So there's really like four. That second one, fifth, sixth, and eighth. The injectors have been cleaned now, 
And now what we're seeing is the after result of the cleaning process. You can see visually the sprays are much better already. All look pretty equal right on down the line. Now we're going to move to the chambers and see how equal they fill. They should all be, should all fill the chamber the same. So as you can see, these are all equal, and he's going to pan down here in a second and show you how even they are. Now we're getting proper flow, and we should get better engine performance from this. There you have it. We removed the injectors and had them tested and cleaned by High Performance Injectors. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you'd like to see the reinstallation and performance video, click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click over here. If you'd like a link to my website where I sell parts and accessories, click here. Leave a like and comment. My name is Troy Bry with Man Cave Mechanic. Have a great day.